entrance of the Vancouver Conference Center where the World Urban, actually the third World Urban Forum is taking place. Our role is to make suits believe in youth. For us, and if people work for us and they get it, and go around at the World Urban Forum telling everyone. At this conference, there is mainly three types of people. There is a lot of mayors and, and government officials who wear dressed up in suits. And there's a lot of NGOs and there's a tiny bit of young people. We feel marginalized, you know. We get one nice event, you know, but it is mainly young people who attend it. <laughs> so we're still getting the message. We're kind of preaching to the converted in that sense, you know. I'm here to uh, present a film called Say My Name, but more than that, I'm here to try to kind of allocate some voices for uh, young women and gender issues. I'm working in The Hague in the Netherlands and uh, I'm sitting at my desk all year and then it's all about paper. I don't see the people so that's why I travel if I can and at this forum I meet colleagues I never met. I find a new inspiration over here. The cool thing is that I've made like dope friends so like every year I go I'm now I'm gonna bump into Joseph and Chawe, like I know. That's been one of the best things in the networking, and I met you. You know, I'm, you know, here to talk serious business because we need to make things happen. Right here, Shemaine Babaluku, all the way from Uganda, Kampala City. One of my people from our positive bitch from City Streets. We out here trying to, you know, network, globally inspire youth to do big things wherever they're from. You know, Tanzania, Uganda, Ghana, Nigeria. We could find you anywhere, man. Two years ago, we converged in Barcelona and uh, the first phase of positive beats on the city streets took place. Young people must be allowed to grow in ways that they see best using their creativity, their insight and thoughts. And this is what the Safer Cities program is trying to put in place with governments. Okay, without further ado, we're going to start uh, giving some uh, concrete examples of what uh, Juma was talking about. We are working for an organization that builds the bridge between uh, you and the government. It seems as if youth are often victimized or stigmatized. The young people have proven that they are able and willing to, to contribute to solutions to problems. We are a um, global cultural youth platform. We try to give uh, young people uh, a place where they can express themselves, where they can develop their uh, creative talents. Katika kampeni hii watu wanafundisha vijana jinsi ya kufanya filim kuanzia ushikaji wa kamera na kile kitu ambacho kinahusiana na utunzi pia wa story. All the countries are self governed by people who live there and so the, the, the young people they really get the opportunity to express themselves the way that they best see fit. So we're going to show you a bit of a clipping of the Be Connected Festival which happens with all the countries that are involved in the music making. Of longitude and latitude, adjust your position like your attitude. Even cats front and had to move. Now let's begin. Why you testing these better men? You get fucked up like it's your first Friday as freshmen. Uh, let them in on the varsity team. Our pipe dreams, we make the cream freeze like reindeer caught up in hobby. I'm gonna show about four or five clips which are just showing you what kind of characters and what kind of subjects we're talking about. I want to be respected in the sense of I'm a very hardworking woman within hip hop and I've paid my dues and I've done my groundwork and I've studied my craft. And I'm not your little two-bit hussy, half naked for you. Am I here for your your comedic enjoyment? What am I here for? You know what I mean? I'm not, no. Bayo Web Connections is a website. We are political. We are cultural. There is a lot of young people in this room and I'm happy. But there must be other people that have ideas or money or connections. <laughs> but let's do it. That's my message. Let's put those ideas into action. Can you tell me what you liked about the film? The women were 
dead honest, and that's what I really like. This is what we want to see. Like, we want to hear strong women tell the truth. I always uh, talk to women uh, movements. Where are the young women? Uh, what about renewing your leadership? If you really want to lobby for youths to be taken seriously and also that funds are being diverted to youth projects, you have to make a statement. I mean, we should be kicking those doors open of these mayors where they talk behind closed doors and make our statements. Considering all the things that I've seen today really motivated me and put my mind in the right state. Power, music, music can really take you from a sad situation and make you dance like me. That's <laughs> The people have spoken, the Zulu hip-hop king is chosen. Now I'm soaking my verbal spears in native rhythms poison. While I'm getting fans from the Khoisans, I'm picking up with Shaga left off. With no mercy for no soft breaking barriers. The hip hop could never be stopping it al Buya no daga. I'm here to shepherd like Moses and sheep, I'm here to fart. We're going inside, talk to Juma, and ask him about the Safer Cities program. There's some grown-up stuff going over here. Where did you get this internet? I was trained to defend myself for my brain and my mental health. The white man got the wealth we held back. We're living in hell black and niggas can sell crack. But that ain't gonna change this thing. If you gon' bang the bang for change, don't bang for crazy things. If not, don't bang. Look at them hold their purses and their bags close. We the only people with no suits. No ties. For real. And look at the pants. I'm good. Since most youth are listening to hip hop these days, why don't we use hip hop artists, b boys, b girls, you name it, to help us bring the message to the youth, but also help us understand the youth. because everybody wants to adopt something young, but I don't feel there is a real understanding of what hip-hop is. I think they think this is a way for us to reach out to the youngins, you know, yeah, bring the performance, but they don't really care about what we do. And while we're here, they place us somewhere, have fun, until it's your time to be on stage, go on stage, and there you are. I've done nothing here. But then again, they did bring me to Canada. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> 